fallout this evening after President Trump now faces his second defeat on his proposed travel ban. The revised ban blocked just hours before it took effect. Here's ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega. President Trump today ignoring questions about the fate of his revised travel ban. Mr. President, what are you going to do next with the immigration order? That order temporarily barring travelers from six Muslim majority countries brought to a standstill by a judge in Hawaii just hours before it was supposed to take effect. During a stop in Nashville on Wednesday, the president rallying his supporters with the news. Let me give you the bad, the sad news. And Judge Derek Watson did not hold back from the bench, writing, any reasonable objective observer would conclude, as does the court, that the stated secular purpose of the executive order is at the very least secondary to a religious objective of temporarily suspending the entry of Muslims. And he used the president's own words against him, like this statement from the campaign trail. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. This from surrogate Rudy Giuliani. When he first announced it, he said Muslim ban. He called me up, he said, put a commission together, show me the right way to do it legally. The judge also citing this statement from the ban's architect. Stephen Miller saying travel ban 2.0 is minor, no different than the first one. Fundamentally, you're still gonna have the same basic policy outcome for the country. And in Nashville, President Trump echoing that. The order he blocked was a watered down version of the first order. And he's now vowing to keep fighting in court. We're going to take our case as far as it needs to go, including all the way up to the Supreme Court. And in a reflection of the reaction he gets at those rallies, Cecilia, the president now saying he may do more of these campaign style events. David, he says he wants to do them about every two weeks, and perhaps he wants to do them even more because he's already got another one on the books for Monday in Louisville. David, his campaign, his re-election campaign, is organizing that one. All right, Monday in Louisville. Cecilia Vega live at the White House.